Middle Level Social Studies Rubicon Introduction. In this video, I'll be toggling through this presentation as well as the Aiken County Public School District website Rubicon Atlas. It says your Rubicon Atlas, you're going to go to the district homepage and in the ribbon about the middle, you see we have these icons and this one that looks like a globe is our digital resources and portals. You're simply gonna click here that takes you to digital resources where they were, are in alphabetical order. So you're going to scroll down, scroll down to Rubicon Atlas and access Rubicon Atlas. And that's going to take you to your Rubicon Atlas page. First we have to find our curriculum. So I'm going to show you how to do that on the site. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do once we find it. We're going to actually pin that to our dashboard or to our Rubicon so that we can have easier access to it. So here you can see in Actions, you're going to open up Actions, and here you can see Pin to My Atlas. You're going to select Pin to My Atlas, and now it's going to be found on your My Atlas dashboard. So after you pin your course curriculum, it should appear in your My Atlas dashboard. So here you can see My Atlas dashboard. I have the seventh grade geography of world regions on here. And I just wanted to show you how you can uh, vary this up if you like. If you're looking for something, you can go to the search. Um, there are several ways you can do it. You can do it by grade, you can do it by keyword. So I'm just gonna plug in the word geography here. And we know that geography is being taught at the seventh grade level. And so I'm gonna search and you can see what comes up in geography. So I'm gonna click here on unit one. Now something that I personally like to do is to go ahead and pin each unit so that each unit appears in my dashboard. Again, go to actions, pin to my atlas, and then you will see that this shows up in your dashboard. And when you go back to my atlas dashboard, you can see that I now have some great geography world re regions or I have unit one geography concepts and skills. Each curriculum is gonna have a course description. So you're gonna find course description and that's gonna give you like a brief overview of what the class is about, the overarching concepts that will be taking place in the curriculum, um, the Aiken County Public School District literacy philosophy and the authors of the curriculum. The, as you can see on Rubicon here, we have the course description, and you can click on the course description, and it's going to bring up um, everything about this geography course. You can add links in here. So this blue one right here would be a link so that you can go to the N3 instructional units created by the State Department. Um, it has the skills that are needed. It has the literacy framework and it also um, includes the South Carolina College and Career Day Standards and then the curriculum authors. There's also an option at the top to where you can email the curriculum developers if you have a question about something in the curriculum. The curriculum is organized into units. So you can see that we first visited the course description. There's a unit calendar and the unit organizer. Each of those are linkable so you can go to different aspects of Rubicon. So when you go to curriculum maps, you can see here is a pacing scale. This tells you um, when um, or how much time we believe uh, we can accomplish this unit or standards. So you can click and see what the dates would be um, for each of those. And you can also click on any of the units or um, quarter one district CFAs or reviews. Anything that's on this left side is linkable. So when you get to an individual unit, you simply click on the unit and then you can explore everything that is in that unit. So let's say we chose unit three one of the things we're going to find once we get to the unit are KUDs. They provide clearer focus for both the teacher and the students. So what do we want the students 
to know, understand, and do. Our target is for student achievement. So we want to set clear learning goals with our KUBs. In the know, these are recall. We want them to recall facts, people, dates, places, definitions, vocabulary, rules, information. Our U is for understand, and this is concept-based. Here's where we want kids to be able to answer our essential questions, to come up with theories, to understand the big ideas, or to make important generalizations. And then finally, our D is for do. Here's where we find our verbs. We want kids to be able to show us that they understand and that they know what the concept is. So we're going to see basic skills here, thinking skills, skills in the discipline, communication, evaluation, planning, organization, collaborative projects, creating artifacts. All of our action is going to be in our do. And here on Rubicon, you can see how they are nicely organized into three columns, know, understand, and do. Here we are in the Rubicon unit calendar. You can see that this is your pacing guide. It maps out how long uh, each unit is planned for from what weeks in the semester or in the school year. And on the left side, it shows you all of your units and each unit is linkable. So if you click here, it's gonna take you to unit one. So let's take a look at unit one. And when you come to unit one, it's gonna begin with your unit overview and then it's going to break down into whatever applies to this course. And in geography, we have themes. So we've listed our themes and our geographic skills. And then our big ideas, our, our enduring understandings, and any essential questions that would come from this unit. Then that's followed by your learning objectives. And we've divided that into perspective skills and doing geography. Then it comes into your standards and indicators as um, noted by the state and so those are all listed here and then underneath here you can see the know understand and do the way that we've organized the seventh grade geography we have done each unit and lesson we've taken and put the know and then we matched it up with an understand and then we matched it up with a do and then you can see the green and the do those are actually activities available to teachers that they can click on and it will take them to that activity and the materials needed to complete that activity. And then underneath your um, KUDs, you're going to have your vocabulary and then you can add your assessments here. So if you have um, common formative assessments, uh, those can all be added here. Any instructional strategies that you plan to use or that would be beneficial to teachers can be um, linked here in instructional strategies. And then the next column is for resources. So anything that wasn't listed above that might be a resource that a teacher could find beneficial in this unit can be linked here or you can upload um, Word documents, PowerPoints, videos, that teachers can access. You can even upload images here. So maybe you're making bell ringers or activators and you might want some images to add there. And those can all be added here. Okay, so this is just a general overview of how you're going to use Rubicon Atlas.